Okay, now that our monthly expense report is filled with labels, date values, and numeric values, we are ready to start adding some formulas to build more info into this report. Currently, we have the individual expenses filled in for every month, which is great. So we could see that supplies was $125 for the month of January, and then it was $100 for February. Now, this is great, but with reports like this, it'd be nice to have a total at the end of each month so we could see what the total amount of expenses was for January, February, and so on. Or we can have totals at the end of the column so we could see the total of cost of goods sold throughout all three months. Now, with Excel being such a powerful calculator, we can achieve these totals by building some basic formulas within our report. So let's go ahead and start building a formula to get the total amount of expenses for the month of January. So to start off, we need to click in cell B9 because this is where we want our total to be placed. Now the number one rule when writing formulas or using Excel functions, you have to start them with the equal sign. And to start writing the formula, we can go ahead and start typing directly in the cell like we've been doing. So I can type an equal sign here, or I can come up to the formula bar and type the formula inside here. You can choose whichever one you prefer because either one would work just fine. Now to get the total, we need to start adding all the expenses together for the month of January. So for cost of goods sold, we had $1,000. Then we're going to click the plus sign to add these totals together. And for wages, we had $500 plus $750 for rent plus $125 and then plus $80 for utilities. Now if I click enter, it should give us a total of $2,455. And if we go ahead and select and highlight all of our expenses and come down to the status bar, we can see that the sum has a total of 2,455 so we can cross check that to make sure our formula is correct and in which this case it is. Now the way I just showed you to achieve this total is not very efficient for two reasons. One, we had to manually enter the amount for each expense. In this case there's only five expenses so it's not too bad but let's say you had 50 expenses that's going to take quite some time. And two, if I go up here and change cost of goods sold to $2,000 instead of $1,000 our total remains the same, so now our total is off. So I would have to come back here, edit the formula, and change this to $2,000. And now we have the correct amount. I'm going to go ahead and undo that by clicking Control Z to get us back to the original amounts. And now for the month of February, I'm going to show you a different way so we can remove those potential cons that we just talked about. So for this formula, instead of manually entering the amount of each expense like we did for the month of January, we're going to be using a technique called cell referencing. Now, as always, to start off the formula, we have to start it with the equal sign. And to add these cells together using cell referencing, all we have to do is click the cells that we want to add. So we're going to start off with cost of goods sold, which is cell C4. Click the plus sign, wages, and repeat the process for each expense. And now we can click enter, which gives us a total of $2,320. And if we select our expenses, go down to our status bar to cross check our answer, Looks like our formula is outputting the correct value, which is good. Now the advantages of using cell referencing is one, that it eliminated quite a bit of time because we didn't have to enter the amount of each expense. And two, for example, let's say I go up to wages for the month of February. Instead of 500, we change it to 1500. That means our total should increase by $1,000. And if I click enter, you can see that our total went from 2,320 to 3,320. And if I click wages again and put it back to 500, it should go back to the original amount. Now this is still not the most efficient way to get a total sum of a column, but I wanted you to recognize the difference between mainly inputting the numbers and get some practice using cell referencing. Now this is a good point to get some practice in, so maybe you can go ahead and fill in the formula for the month of March, or you can take it a step further and get the total of the cost of goods sold across all three months, wages, rent, and so on. 